People definitely need to be made aware that our wills are largely untapped resources and are severely neglected in contemporary westernized societies. Why is willpower so vital to our lives? Will is a great gift, actually, and as Sakyamuni said very importantly in his reformulation of what was orthodox Indian philosophy and in his rejection of fate and his emphasis on will, the important message as I understand it is that we are all co-creators of our reality so that the things that we achieve in life, the things that we fail to achieve in life, the things that we encounter in life, all these circumstances are partly owing to things that happen outside of our control, but also are enmeshed with what it is that we will for ourselves and others. And the ripening fruits of that, of course, are called karma. So Westerners need to be more aware, I believe, of not only the immediate effects of will, but also of the long-term effects as what we will plays out in our lives. Why has it been so neglected in the West? It's a big question. I think partly it owes to the successes of science and technology. People have become very accustomed to believing that any problem in life uh, can somehow be surmounted by an external help, such as a pill. Uh, or uh, a consultation with, uh, with a professional, or indeed a new piece of technology, that there's some kind of quick fix for everything. But as we know, this is not the case. Will in the United States is severely undervalued, simply because it's not a commodity that's publicly traded. Uh, and because, if you don't mind a little bit of cynicism, it's because the pharmaceutical companies haven't yet found a way to bottle it and sell it. If people could package will uh, and sell it to you, then, then I think there'd be a big consumer market for it. But the beauty of it is it's free. People only need to avail themselves of it. That is an art. And the cultivation of that art is, of course, the work of philosophy. Another reason for the undervaluation of will in our society, I believe, is the over-medicalization and over-psychologization of the human being. People have been made very often to feel as though they're powerless victims of circumstance. Uh, that is, whatever happened to them in their childhoods, whatever happened to them in their adulthood, whatever happens to them now, somehow these are like storms of existence that wash over them, and they have no way to stand up or no way to shelter themselves. And in fact, the will is extremely powerful in taking an active role in charting our course through these storms, without which definitely people will be storm-tossed. But there has to be a willingness to take charge of one's life in a certain sense. This is not egoism. This is not egotism. This is a very healthy way of asserting oneself in the world. We are embodied beings. We think, we speak, we act. And if we do so with a unity of purpose and the will behind it, which should be by default goodwill, not ill will, then definitely we can chart a course through the storm of existence.